hi it's been a hot minute and by that I mean like two years since I posted my journey to getting a service dog video so um, as I expect most of you know lots of changes in two years um, I did not go with a um, program dog you know where you save up money and then you have your dog trained for you not long after I had filmed that video I found um, this group called psychiatric service dog partners um, I will put a link to their page down below please donate if you can they're an amazing group they advocate for um, psychiatric service dog rights and and Americans with Disability Act and making sure that everybody's rights are you know protected um, as far as disabled people. There's a lot of stigma with people with mental disorders and having service dogs. People want to know and see that you're disabled if you have a service dog so they don't trust that um, your service dog is real and so they definitely advocate for that. You know, they write articles about different changes in the laws state by state and, and stuff like that. Psychiatric Service Dog Partners is a really great organization. Um, it's psychiatricservicedogpartners.org, I believe, but again, I will have the link in the description down below. Um, so after I discovered them, I was able to join an email listserv where um, other people with psychiatric service dogs are on it and we just talk and ask questions and I basically learned everything about service dogs that I know now. I learned about my rights in the country, the United States, and in my state, Michigan. Um, I learned about how to pick a dog breed, I learned about um, how to pick a breeder because you want to find a reputable breeder, you know, whether to go with a rescue or with a breeder. Um, and I went with a breeder because the chance of a washout is much too high and I can't afford to have to rehome a dog and then get another dog and start training and whatnot. So I went to a reputable breeder who yeah, they do their best to breed out bad behavior and um, diseases and all that stuff um, so that's what I did um, a lot of the information that I said was incorrect in that video like you there's no such thing as a certification for a service dog and if you do have a certification it's probably just a scam to get your money to buy some kind of card um, so that's I said that in the video. Um, I ended up not making an Indiegogo page, but I did get a few donations from, um, I think I just had a PayPal account, and one of those donations actually paid for my down payment on my puppy, and I am eternally grateful, and if the person who sent that, I know it was a couple of years ago when you sent that money, but if you're watching this, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you've made a huge difference in my life, and I'm eternally grateful. Thank you. Um, so I found my breeder a couple years ago and when I found her, she had puppies and I went in with a business folder and a whole list of questions that I um, found on the Psychiatric Service Dog Partners website um, so that I could find out if she was a good breeder to go with. You know, um, how often, how many times a year do you breed? You know, if you've, is somebody that breeds more than two one or two litters a year, then they're probably overbreeding their dogs. Um, you know, I have I asked? I actually don't remember most of the questions, but it was stuff like that. And you know, she passed it all, and I met the puppies, and they were great. And I was getting ready for my puppy, and then um, she put me in contact with my trainer, actually, who's you know trained um, dogs, her dogs, you know, from dogs that she had you know litters of who actually trained them to be service dogs and I think they were di diabetic service dogs um, and so he's got experience with her dogs he's got experience with poodles which is the breed I ended up going with um, and he's got experience training service dogs and he also has experience training psychiatric service dogs so I'm extremely lucky to have found him and found him through my breeder because my breeder knows him and he knows her and we're all a big family and friends it's great <laughs> We got in contact with him and he said that he would do a temperament test at seven weeks. 
Um, six weeks rolls around and my breeder emailed me and said that she wanted to talk to me in person and I was a little bit worried. And I got there and she did not have good news for me. Uh, the puppies were sick. They had lymphedema, which is um, the swelling of the limbs, like fluid buildup in their limbs. Um, they're, perf they're perfectly happy puppies. You know, they weren't in pain or anything. It's just that they were not okay for service work, just in case there were any type of complications in the future. I mean, if it gets really bad, if it goes untreated, they might have to, you know, get amputated and um, yeah, get limbs amputated. And that's just, it just doesn't work. There's, you know, it's too risky. So that was a bummer. That really, really sucked. But she said she was, you know, going to be breeding an, um, the mother of those puppies. She said she was going to breed her sister um, in January. So I was like, it's all right. I, I went to my listserv and I was like, do I look for another breeder? What do I do? And they said, if you find a good breeder, you stick with that breeder. So I waited over a year. Um, Grace, who is the mother, um, or the, the bitch that she was going to be breeding, didn't go into heat. And then, um, we waited and waited and waited. And finally she went into heat and um, they bred her and then no puppies. Uh, she did not get pregnant. Um, and I, you know, didn't hear from her for a while. And then spring rolled around and I get an email and she said, Grace has puppies. And I, oh, I was so excited. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of the little puppy x-ray because that was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> so she, you know, there you go, and then I, that was then I then I had to wait until she gave birth, and um, on May eighth, twenty sixteen, Grace gave birth to five puppies, three boys and two girls, and um, I met them at five weeks. Here are some pictures of the puppies when they were little. They oh, they're such good puppies, and they remind me so much of Grace, who is their mom, and Grace is oh my God, she's such she's one of the best dogs I've ever met. They're beautiful and just wonderful. And then the next time I saw them, they were, I think, seven weeks, and boom, they just sprouted everything. Um, here's some pictures of them at seven weeks. Um, so that was when we did the temperament test, and it turns out, he's like, my trainer said, pick whatever puppy you want. They're all be, they'd all be good for service dog work. And I was like, Oh, um, so it turns out with a, an amazing breeder like Barb who breeds, you know, for the best temperament and whatnot, um, you don't have to really, you know, you don't find a one puppy that's just overly aggressive and confident or one puppy that's really shy. They're, you know, she breeds for continuity. So, um, they were also, they're all so similar and they're all so great. Um, I went and saw them again at eight weeks, um, and I still, after that, I had I picked a puppy, and everyone's asking, are you getting a boy or a girl? When are you getting a puppy? And my whole family and friends are just waiting uh, on the edge of their seats, and I'm like, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. We have to wait and see, and one friend was like, she's just leaving you, hanging on the edge of your seat, just hanging on to your thumbs here, and I was like, well, she's actually a really amazing breeder. She's going to a dog show, and she's gonna have her handler take a look at them and the handler's gonna pick out which one's best for show and I'd probably get, you know, the second best from there because, you know, the one that's picked for show, there's a lot of, lot goes into it, you know, with their body, their posture, how they walk, um, their size and everything. So, um, but they also have to have a good temperament. I asked her uh, after that if there was a timeline about, um, you know, when she thought I might get, she'd be take, sending the puppies to your homes, and she said the 10th or the 11th of July. Um, the 10th rolls around, and I am, uh, I come up with an excuse to email my breeder. I'm like, mm, uh, should I sign the contract with you, or do I sign it right now? I'm not sure who to make the check out to, you or Rose Bar Poodles. You know, she's, so that's the name of her, you know, company, I suppose. I don't really know if it's a company, but, um, so after I said that, so I came up with that excuse to email her, and after I sent that 
I was constantly refreshing my phone. I was anxious, uh, refreshing my email, I should say. I was anxious and doing it about every five seconds. You know, John, my fiance, by the way, I don't remember if I mentioned John in my last video, but John is, uh, was my boyfriend. We met in 2012 um, and we started dating in September of 2012 um, and then February or March, or was it April? I don't even remember when. Um, he proposed and now we're engaged. So my fiance John took my phone and he said, don't look at it anymore. And so I, you know, sat around crocheting and cleaning to distract myself, getting things ready for my puppy to come home. Um, at this point, um, I, I had picked a name and everything, you know, I'd picked a name a long time ago. Um, I, that I thought would work for whether it was male or female. Um, I decided to name my poodle Winnie um, after my favorite um, cartoon and character and literary character of all time, Winnie the Pooh, um, who was, you know, a big part of my life growing up. And I thought, what well, better than Winnie? And then I thought about, you know, a longer name. I thought this was very clever <laughs> and I still love this. Um, Full name would be Winnie the Poodle, uh, like Winnie the Pooh, not Poodle, but oops. <laughs> so um, we're you know waiting on Winnie and everything. Uh, it's Sunday, refreshing my email, and I get a text from my mom. She goes, "Any puppy news?" I said, "No, not yet." Um, and then John's sister texted me and she said, "Have you gotten your puppy?" And I said, no, I haven't heard from her since my breeder since Thursday, and I was really sad. And then as soon as I had responded to that text, I looked at my email, and I got an email. And she didn't answer any of my questions. She just said, do you want to come get your puppy today? He's here, and he's waiting for you. And then I was like, oh, my God, it's a boy. And John, I ran out of the house and got in the car and got ready to go. And I forgot my phone, so we had to stop in the driveway, and I ran back in, got my phone. Uh, we stopped to pick up a collar and leash that were way too big. But um, I got there, and she said, she, the first thing she said to me, I got a good one for you. And um, <laughs> this really warmed my heart. Um, you know, she, she thought about me a lot while uh, having these puppies. You know, she was the one who got to spend every single day every waking hour with them. So I trusted her to know like which one would be best for me. Um, and the reason she hadn't been able to respond to my emails because there was a, a family picking out their puppy and they were choosing between the puppy I got and then his sister. Um, and cause they had originally put a deposit down for a boy but they kept going back and forth with this boy and this girl and they spent two hours, which is crazy with these two puppies and Barb was, you know, going in and out of the house. She had her friends come. She's like, don't you leave me to her friends. And she's like, I don't know what to do. And um, the the puppy I ended up getting, one of her friends was holding him and she said, this, this is the, sir, you need, this, this is the puppy that Kelsey needs, you know, this is the one that's going to be a good service dog. And she said, I know, but these other people are looking at him. So, Fortune was in my favor, and they picked the girl, and I got there, and I had met this puppy Thursday, um, the Thursday before that Sunday, and she had put him on the table to show me, you know, how, how he could, she could, he was already good at stacking, you know, which is, you know, uh, it's hard to describe, it's just a posture you put your dog in for the judges to, um, take a look at your judge, or take a look at your dog during the dog show, um, and, I had never ever seen a puppy just stand there and be groomed and you know at nine eight weeks this was so um she handed me my Winnie I almost cried and I feel like crying now um I waited a really long time for this puppy and I just finally had him in my arms and it it was amazing um I got to bring him home and I've had him for two days now. <sighs> Things have really turned around. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, very emotional right now. Um, I got him and he's, he's beautiful. He's just the most beautiful dog. Like he, he could be a show dog. Um, and, you know, any of them really could have, but he, he's, 
my puppy now. And he's been doing great. He eats great. He sleeps through the night. He does cry um, for a little while until he realizes that, you know, we're sleeping. You know, he's just getting used to having to sleep in the crate by himself. He's in our bedroom, but he's, you know, not sleeping in a little um, X-Pen or whatever with his litter mates anymore. So he's got to get used to that, and he's doing a really good job. Um, he slept through the night two nights in a row. Um, and, you know, we get up, and we... We go outside and I feed him and he's walking on a leash great. I've never had a puppy learn this fast to walk on a leash. I mean, there's still some kinks, of course, because he's little and he's distracted and curious, but he's doing a great job. Um, and I just couldn't be happier. Already my agoraphobia is, you know, improving because I don't have a choice. I have to go outside with him. Um, and I can't, I just, ugh, I don't even know. Um, so, with all that being said, here is a little montage of um, some of the moments building up to me getting Winnie. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Bye. We're on our way to go see the puppies right now, and we're both super excited. Yay! Oh, we want to, but we can't. Want to we just can't. It's <laughs> too much. Come on. It's just scary. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Hey, yeah. Oh, Joe. Just be careful. It's a step. It's a big step. Oh, oh almost. Now yeah, we're not quite ready. Pretty soon. Oh. We just saw the puppies. Oh my god, you guys. They're so adorable. This is such a great litter. It's so good. They're so cute and they're smart. Oh my goodness. Hi, little babies. Come on over here. Yes, come on. I don't want to step on you. Oh my gosh. You got a buddy. Hi, you guys are so good. Hi. I know I want to play with you, but I also want to capture your adorableness on camera. Look at you guys. Hi. Mr. You were going to be Marco. You gotta go pee pee. You gotta go pee pee. Hi there. Hi. Yes, that's so cute. Yes, oh yes, I'm wearing sandals. Good for chewing on. Hi. Hi. Is he in there? So, Kelsey. How do you feel? Like right now? Yeah, like right now. My back hurts. And? Um, I'm anxious to get email from Mark. I'm supposed to figure out today. We're still waiting. Getting as well as today or tomorrow? Hopefully today. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest. The puppy class starts Tuesday. So. We really want to get it today, and the puppy class starts Tuesday. So. Excited. Anxious. Yeah. She keeps checking her. Uh, she keeps checking her email on her phone every like three seconds, which is kind of uh, That's why crazy. Here. Yeah. So. so, Paris, how do you feel about the dog? Yeah. That's good. Say hi to okay. Um. This is super exciting. So we just found out that, well, okay, so my breeder just emailed me and she's like, do you want to pick up your puppy today? Because he is here and he's ready to go home with you. And so I guess I'm getting a boy. And she knows which one. So I'm really excited. Found out about because I forgot my phone so I had to run back inside and get it. Um, um, I don't know what else to say. I'm really excited.